hi, I'm Maria. This is my emotional support animal, Wicket. He is a Pomeranian Chihuahua, and I got him two or three years ago um, because my brother couldn't keep him in his new apartment. So I got him instead, <laughs> and he is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Um, he's helped me through so much. He was there when my grandma died, and he was just... Um, He's just like always there. He always knows when you're sad. He'll like put his head on my um he'll put his head on my lap and he'll just like sit there and just keep me calm through like really tough moments or when I'm going through a lot of stress, kinda like right now, but <laughs> uh Wicket helps me um through school, like when I'm really stressed out with the workload, I can always just like I know I'm always gonna come back to the dorm in my room and he's always just gonna be there to help me through everything. Um, having him here is a lot of, um, work. I have to take him out multiple times a day, and, um, he gets very lonely. He has separation anxiety. It's pretty bad. Um, we're kind of here for each other all the time. Um, he, how, having him here helps me because it feels like I'm still at home, but my hometown is five and a half hours away, but... He still makes it feel like home because he is my home. His name is Wicket. Um, my nephew named him because he was my brother's dog first. Um, the reason behind Wicket is um, Wicket is the leader of the Ewoks in the Star Wars movies. Um, and it kind of fits him because he does look like a little Ewok. I wouldn't change his name if I could or if I had the opportunity to. Wicket was not adopted. He was um, bought by my brother for $25 off the side of the road in Maine. Um, the owners um, had a Pomeranian and a Chihuahua, and they weren't spayed and neutered, so they had little babies, and he was the runt of the litter. So my brother bought him and his sister, Honey, who unfortunately passed away a couple years ago of ovarian cancer. Um, for the most part, people are really nice to him, but there are some people that are really unnecessarily rude to him. I know there's an RA in my building that has told me that he's not allowed anywhere and that I can only take him outside and that's it. Um, she's yelled at me and told me absolutely not, absolutely not to like him being in the halls or anything and it's just so unnecessary. He's just a dog and he has he doesn't deserve anything rude. Um, one time I was walking him outside and this group of guys walked by and called him an ugly squirrel and one of them pretended to kick him and it was just it's just so unnecessary he's just a little baby he's my baby and he's my everything